All right. I am. Are we rolling? I think we're rolling. Yeah, we're five seconds in. I'm here in the Columbia River Gorge looking for this uh, big cedar stump that is featured in my beat up copy of Poking Around the Gorge. And uh, I think I found them, man. This right here is the picture. You can see there's a half nude woman climbing into the stump with a man. And these have got to be the stumps that they're using. No, I don't use this for a place to come practice my sex life. But uh, there's some damn cool places in this book that are, don't have any tourists. This is a beat up copy. I have a really pristine copy autographed by the author. He's the same guy who wrote uh, Curious Gorge. Nice guy. This book you can't get anymore. It's 200 bucks on eBay, I guess, or something like that. Anyway, okay, here it is, man. Let me see, but these are supposed to be hollow, so I'm going to try to get up in one. Let me see if I can. All right. Jeff's going to watch me get hurt here. <laughs> oh, wow. Did you hear the bird or something squawking? Like, what in the hell is he doing? That was Jeff trying to screw with me. Now he's calling me a dork. Yeah, this is it, man. This is totally it. Wow. Okay, that thing's hollow inside. Yeah, I couldn't imagine getting in there to have sex. That would be, but it'd be cool to climb in it. Let me go check the others. Let me check the other ones real quick. See, this is why I like poking around the gorge. Because, like I said, they're just cool places. And you notice there's not... 4,000 transplant to Oregon tourist here making me miserable, you know, and if I see like a cool re yellow racer snake or something and He's letting me film him and he's about to do some cool stuff. They don't run up and try to pet him, you know, or stupid crap like that Anyway, and then he runs off Okay, here we go. Next one here. Notch right there. Notch right there So I'll just wedge myself up here Using my long arms or something, my feet right about there. There we go. Got that. Okay, foot in there, foot in there. Wow, yeah, it's pretty hollow in there. No, Jimmy Hoff is not in here. I didn't see anybody. Hey, by the way, Spike, do you see what shirt I'm wearing? My Jimi Hendrix shirt. God, I love the Oregon forest. So dang cool out here. By the way, if you're watching this and you live somewhere else and you're thinking, boy, Steve's seeing some cool stuff here. I better move there and jack the rent even higher. Don't come here because now you're better to stay where it's hot because the rent, we have San Francisco prices, high rises everywhere. There's beer cans in there. Plus, unless you grew up in this weather, it will drive you to drink heavy, okay? You'll be depressed, you'll be on Prozac, you'll be a mess, trust me. I know people it's happened to. I'm a native and I still get a little weird at the end of the, end of the Oregon winter, you know? So, don't do it, man. Just stay where you're at, come visit. Don't come live here. Goddamn Portlandia. Okay, I gotta get down from here now. Alright, there we go. Got it. Okay, there's a <laughs> Okay, there's another one over here. What? I, yeah, Jess yelling, be careful, Steve, you have the keys. Just pull them off my corpse, okay? <laughs> All right, let's see. Now, that one has notches on it, too. So, I'm going for it. I'm going to check that out. Try to climb that sucker. Okay, something... Don't pay attention to this if you're from out of Oregon and you're coming to visit. Just parade through the bushes because... You know, don't learn what poison oak looks like, all right? But if you're from, if you're from Oregon or the forest, you'll know 
chocolate poison oak looks like. Okay, anyway, let's see about this guy. There's notches on him too. I gotta go up that sucker. This is the last one, and he should not leave any stone unturned. You know what I mean? Jellyfish are out here having adventures. So this one. By the way, this park too has a really, really cool. There's a pretty cool old, um, well, it's got some cool picnic grounds and stuff, and the creek's pretty cool that comes through here, too. Ah. Ah. All right, some of you may actually want to come do it in a stump. You know, just to, you know, hey, each is on, everybody has their own kink. All right, let's see. Let's get up here to this last one. I can get this. I'm trying to give you guys all the best, my audience. Okay. I could do this a lot easier without the camera, but you know, I love you guys. So let's see if we can get this right there. Okay. Not any solid grip around here. It might work. That might work right there. Okay. Okay. Wedgie with this tree over here. I can't get myself. Oh, I don't know. Probably a whole bunch of snakes and forest ants. This one doesn't appear to be too hollow. I can't not do this. I have to see this. It's, it's who I am. I'm curious as hell here. Alright, let's see if I can get you right there for a minute. Almost got the wedgie. The wedge. I can wedge myself between these two trees using my arms. Okay, I'm up, guys. I'm coming for you. Hang on. And. This was for nothing. This one is not hollow. Well, if it was hollow, it appears to be, well, maybe the top, by pushing up with a brush with a stick, it was once hollow. It's not very big though. See, I dropped this stick down it. This one's about is wide enough that my skinny ass could barely squeeze in there. All right, yeah, cute, Jeff. Jeff says so get in. Anyway, I'm doing the splits here. So I'm gonna put you guys down one more time. I think I can find their roots. Right. Got, got it. That was total gymnastics. And I've got shit on me. But that was a blast, man. Okay, so that's all the trees. There's a big old stump over there that fell down. I don't know if you guys can see me. This is how I grew up, getting dirty in the forest. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, guys. All right, I think that's it.